Auricose veins are dilated superficial veins immediately under the skin uh, on the legs and they can be uh, bulging unsightly most frequently a cosmetic problem for these young women and not a cause of a serious disease but in some patients it actually is the beginning of a chronic disease that can result in complications like skin changes bleeding from varicose veins, blood clot in these superficial veins called phlebitis, or even venous ulcerations. Women uh, more frequently have varicose veins, uh, usually because of hormonal reasons, and obviously we see it in more frequently in patients who had multiple pregnancies. On the other side, we also see it in, in uh, people who are older, and it is actually mo the most frequent in older people, where, of course, we also see the most frequent uh, problems of complications. Sitting uh, or, or standing prolonged periods of time have a lot to do with it. Genes have a lot to do with it. There are more frequent. Varicose veins are more frequent in families who have varicosities. Varicose veins, as I said, are frequently cosmetic problems, but if the varicose veins are, have a cause symptoms of aching, burning, or pain, that is a reason to evaluate the varicose veins. And we have now excellent uh, diagnostic uh, techniques that are accurate, non-invasive, like ultrasound, that gives us a, um, a full picture of the amount of damage in the venous system. And uh, patients who come to us for evaluation of varicose veins undergo ultrasound evaluation. Spider veins are very small dilated veins. Usually the, we call varicose veins, the larger veins that are larger than three millimeters in size, why the, the very small veins are called spider veins. Spider veins are indeed most frequently a cosmetic problem only. But spider veins uh, deserve attention, especially if they are occasionally painful. And spider veins can be a tip of occasionally of more advanced chronic venous disease. Well, it is very difficult because indeed uh, varicose vein treatment is uh, today is delivered by a large spectrum of physicians with different training and uh, different uh, credentials. You cannot go wrong if you go to uh, websites of uh, uh, vascular societies like the Society for Vascular Surgery or the Society for Vascular Medicine or Society for Vascular uh, Radiology. These are specialties that deal with it in addition to dermatologists and plastic surgeons. It is uh, uh, very difficult to recommend something that it has proven efficacy but uh, clearly prolonged standing prolonged sitting um, is, is, is not good for this type of people and it is not, not by chance that we see it uh, uh, in people who have a profession like waiters or uh, who work in a beauty salon or who are surgeons who develop varicose veins.